when you're doing research, there is an intuitive way to store articles that you find on the databases on Google Drive. Access the databases from our library website. We were using Research in Context, now called the Yale in Context, as our general database for this guided inquiry project. And when you find an article, which I'm going to go through very quickly here, just as an example, but may take um, classes of searching, trying different keywords, and making the database happy with you by finding the keyword that is um, the best to search its collection. Um, once you've gone through that process and you've identified an article that you're interested in, there's a lot of ways you can connect it to your Google Drive as a Google document. And there's also features that will transfer from the database over into your Google Drive, which makes it easier later when you're handling as many digital resources as I'm going to be asking you to handle for this class. If I have a article and I want to pull out a certain part of that, when I highlight it and let go, it gives me an option to highlight it on the page. And when I do that, I can add my notes that will just remind me after I've gone through all these different articles um, what pieces I'd like to pull out and include as part of the answer to my essential question. And whatever I write in here is going to show up later in my Google Drive. So I've made this highlight, I've got this note, and after I hit save and I've read through the whole article and I've decided this is something that I want to use for my research, I can click on this button here and it will send me to Google Drive. The Gale company is going to ask to connect to your Google account, make sure you're connecting to your Natick Public Schools account, and it may ask you for authentication. So there may be a different screen you see here and you can click allow. But once that's been sent, you can click OK. And when you go into your Google Drive folder, you will be able to see a folder created for the database. And they're usually easy to spot because they're created in a different color. So my Gale and Context folder right here is orange. My article um, about Kathy Camper's great graphic novel is right here. And when I open it up, I have my highlighted uh, section here. And then at the bottom, I have also highlighted the notes that I wanted to use and a nice formatted source citation. So if I open this with Google Docs, it takes it into an editable form. And it makes it really easier for me to pull out and do my paraphrasing, do my direct quoting, and do all uh, sorts of different things that we need um, in order to create our learning product at the end of the research process. So once we answer our essential question with all these notes that we pulled out, it'll be nice to have these to refer back to. Um, and it's much easier to go through your Google Docs than to go back through the database itself.